there's literally no stopping him. There won't be a player that's ever been that can actually stop him when he's on his day. Liverpool have got a few speed merchants as well. I was thinking about some of the players you face as a fullback. It's almost not human. I've never felt like so powerless against someone. I'll start with one that you should know all about, really. We'll start with right foot. I mean, left footers get all the all the um the sort of the praise under the cultured left foot and all that. But in terms of the right footers, who, who's what who's got the best sort of right foot that you've seen in in football? You know, who who if you didn't have yours, who would you want? It's a tough one. Yeah, I think I mean, like you said, growing up, seeing the likes of Beckham and Gerrard, them two especially, Alonso was a big one for me growing up, watching him kind of on a week-to-week -week basis and seeing the way that he could pass a ball was was ridiculous really since I've really been playing um, and in the modern game I think for me De Bruyne when you're in and amongst it it's it's rare that you you can still be taken back by the things that you see he's, he's the best passer I've ever played against he's the, the person that still gives me that wow factor when I'm in in, in the Premier League especially where I'm watching one of his games and he'll produce a pass where I'm just like, wow. Left footers, obviously, like I say, they get a lot of, you know, people love watching a left footer strike the ball. Don't they? But who's, who's would you have? I mean, some examples, obviously, but Messi. Messi's an obvious one, isn't he? I mean, Liverpool have got a few in the club. Shaqiri and, and Salah are pretty good as well. Yeah, I think, like you said, with left footers, I always find that watching them is a bit more, it's more attractive. Like Shaq with his free kicks and his techniques and stuff is unbelievable. Mo with with his as well and and Robbo, I think um, it has to go to to Messi, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> what's what's you like to play against? Tough, yeah. <laughs> very 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 tough yeah. to say the least. I think even if he's not anywhere near the ball, he's always in your thought process. You're concentrating a hundred percent. Even if he's not even looking your way, if he's yeah. looking the other way. You know that he can see things that are going on that you can't even see. So you have to you have to try and see the whole pitch. Yeah, I'm thinking about you as a fullback because when you're playing fullback or defense anywhere really, but your coach will probably be screaming to you, won't he? Show him, show him his right, show him. Keep him off his left, keep him off his left. But the top players, you can't you can't keep them off the left. You know that you can't. It's just not possible. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Yeah, I think. Just a bit, yeah. I think if it was that easy, then yeah, you, uh, you wouldn't have seven hundred goals, would you? Yeah, yeah. however many assists, yeah, you wouldn't have six ball doors if it was that easy. Um, so, I think you can try your best to to stop him, but sometimes there's there's literally no stopping him. There's not a player in the world, or there won't be a player that's ever been that can actually stop him when he's on his day. He's for me the best player ever. If I'm if I ever see anyone anywhere near as good as him, then I'll count myself lucky. We move on to physical attributes then. I mean, what about speed? Liverpool have got a few speed merchants as well. I was thinking about some of the players you face as a fullback. I mean, Rashford, Zaha, Mbappe, you've come up against. I mean, whose who's pace has frightened you the most that you've come up Try against? Traore. Traore. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Like, it, it's almost not human the way you can change direction and go. I've never felt like so powerless against someone. People are, people are faster than you, that's inevitable. You can get yourself in good positions against people and give yourself a head start and, and, and get yourself in the race. But with him, with his power as well, there's nothing you can really do. I just remember I just remember last season, the first, the first time I played against him when he came on and he's just, he's just turned and knocked it and was gone. And I've never felt, I've never felt like that before. So for me, it, it has to be him. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of the James Milner, to be honest, on this, on this one. That was my prediction. I've, got, I've, I've written down who I think you'd say on that. I mean, in terms of, you know, engine and fitness and stamina, is, is he is he the benchmark for you? Easily. Yeah. I mean, like, we, have, we have fit players. Um, we're a fit team. Hendo, unbelievable. Ginny, unbelievable. I think Robbo. There's not many games I can say that Robbo hasn't been 100% up and down, but... I think Millie, uh, I, I, I'll never ever, I don't think I'll ever see anyone as fit as him. 
But I think uh, considering, <laughs> with no disrespect, considering age and <laughs> how, how long he's played for and stuff like that, to still be the fittest in probably the fittest team in <sighs> arguably the world, you know, um, with our levels of intensity and stuff, to be the fittest player by some margin, is, it yeah. takes some doing. Well, what strength? Because, I mean, footballers now, it's not it's not really the same. Everyone everyone is pretty strong. They all obviously have the, the conditioning. But who's the who's the strongest player that you've caught up against when you've tried to maybe get tight and try and mark someone? Traore again, maybe? Um, maybe Traore, I'd have to say. Um, strong. Sadio's obviously up there as well, I imagine. Sadio. Sadio Mo. Um, Verge. Joe Gomez. I'd probably say Mo, if I'm honest. I think yeah. he's ripped Mo as well, isn't he? I yeah, think. I, th I think. Yeah, the the way that he can shield the ball and bully defenders um, with his body. What's he like for a fullback when you're trying to get? You're you're obviously trying to show him probably down the line onto his right foot, and he's obviously he wants to come inside to to, to connect with his left. That is that is that difficult because you can't get too tight. Yeah, because not only is it is he strong, but he's lightning and fast as well. So it's. With them sorts of players, yeah. are, are both both of our wingers, it's so hard to defend against the squad that we have now. To be able to to train every single day against these players and know that on the weekend you might not play against someone as good, and you know that you're getting tested to the to the limits. So when the weekend does come, you you prepared and you're ready for for what's to come. What about heading? Um, I know that's something you uh, you've worked a lot on, and I, I think you could see that in the Ajax game. If you, if you don't mind me saying, I thought you but you won a, a lot of lot of headers at the back post in that game, which was really good to see. But who, who's the best header of the ball you've you've uh, you've you've come up against or seen? Yeah, there's 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 been a few, but yeah, it has to be Verge. Um, his dominance in the air is unbelievable, and in, in both boxes as well to be able to go up and score them as well. Um, so yeah, that's it, Verge. Because we don't have the crowd, obviously now when we're in the press box, we you just hear Virgil every time the ball's near. I think you just hear challenge. That's all you ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Seconds. <laughs> skill. If you're talking about skill, individual skill on the ball. I mean, I I, I know it's um, again you come up against most of them because you play full back, so most of them skillful players get put out on the wing, don't need to go and terrorise like see, like see yourself. Who's who's the most skillful player that you've 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 had where you've been watching? I mean. Can, can go back to playing against or with? Um, how skillful? I'd probably have to say Neymar. What, what's Neymar? I mean, Neymar is difficult because he's he's also like all, all he's, he's strong and he's he's quick as well, isn't he? With, with it, he's not just you know footwork; he's everything. Completely. Yeah, he's quite good at. I think just like shifting your body weight, get you off balance, and then go to, go the other direction. So, I think. He's quite smart in terms of the way he shifts your body, shifts your hips, and when you think that the ball's there to to be won, he'll he'll just nip it away from you. So I think it's hard to process how quick that they the, the kind of players move the feet and move the the bodies and um all the feints and stuff like that. It's really hard to to play against. What about football brain or intelligence on on the pitch? I mean, someone who's able to to see things, to organise things. I mean, who'd be the one that you'd have? You know, in terms of organising the game, if you like. Yeah, I think I think there's a lot of players on our team with an unbelievable football brain. But I think, like you mentioned with Messi, it's the fact that sometimes, like, I don't think his body knows what he's gonna do. It's just all his brain just working so fast and such at such speed, quicker than any everyone else's. The way that you can see things a lot quicker than everyone. Yeah, it's scary. You can. You can read what the defender's going to do and just sidestep them uh, just as if they're not even there. I think mean, a lot of the times it's it's like he's playing against mannequins and he's just weaving through them easily. So I think for that reason, I, I'll, have to, I'll have to go with him again. I mean, to be fair, we, we it wouldn't be wrong if we, we had Messi for about six or seven of these categories, would it? I mean, no, like, is, like, is, like I mentioned, the, the fact yeah. that just across the board, he's, he's, yeah. he's got everything. But not only is he just... Good at everything. He's he's top one, top two in the world at every yeah. single thing. So <laughs> it's hard not to not to mention his name several times. 